Hey guys, we gotta check in real quick. Uh, here's in one of our customers' houses where we've done some trimming in the past, and I wanted to point out to you some of the best things about the way that you cut, do your cuts. So that finish cut that you do, that's just outside the branch collar, you'll see here, it's almost completely encapsulated, and that's happened within two years, which is really nice. This is the perfect tree for it because it's a maple. Now, if you come in a little closer, you can see it's almost completely healed over, and that's gonna make sure that this tree doesn't get internal decay from this open wound that would be there normally. If you leave a stump, now we can take a look at that from this other direction. If you come around this way, you can see possibly the over edge of this cut right here. This was a cut made improperly. They cut like this, and what they should have done is cut more at an angle like this. Because now this callus can't grow up over the top of that wood. As that wood dies back and starts to rot away, it's gonna create a cup right up here at the upper part of the branch, attracting water, pulling it in, rotting out this section, causing internal decay, and then this whole branch is gonna break off on a car someday. That's something that we can't really fix now. But because the tree's still young, it probably won't be too big of a problem. Here again is another issue. We're getting some included bark right here. You can see even some of this is just enough that we're gonna definitely reduce the weight on each side of the tree this year. But if you come around this side, this included bark is more obvious. When you see this line, you can tell when the bark comes together and it moves up, like we've talked about before, is good. The steeple style bark connection is good. But when it comes together and goes in, that's the stuff you're looking for. So in a bigger tree, I don't wanna be out on those branches trusting my body weight. I totally trust this for my body weight, but not when this is down here and I'm way out at the ends. So that's a problem. But if you look at some of these cuts, you can see that type of healing that we're going for. You can see there was a lot of damage here that was healed up. Over here on this other tree, lots of properly made cuts here's one that's working its way over and you can see the the wood starting to encapsulate again more good cuts so this is what you're going for the reason why we finish our cuts the way we do is we want this perfect healing and when that occurs this tree has a much longer lifespan 